Let's talk about pauldrons. So we have this pauldron that we let flatten out. And it's very flat. If you look, it's, uh, it's not like the other pauldron, which is over here, which is not flat. What? Not flat. See? Thin. Not so thin, no matter how I turn it. So um, when we flattened it, you'll notice that there was this discoloration. This is why you don't use a big, bare metal block to hold your workpiece down. This is what your textbooks are for, if they still have textbooks. We'll figure that out later. But when you have this, this is iron oxide. It blackens your leather. What most people don't realize is a lot of the um, iron dyes, well, <laughs> a lot of the black dyes use iron shavings to get this exact reaction. Uh, for those of you who work with wood, you probably know that steel will blacken oak immediately and you have to use oxalic acid to remove it. It's quite exhausting. But for us with leather, I don't really care. We have this tool called the scythe, and that allows you to find the directional grain as you scythe to just gently shave off the layer of oops. You can't sand it, you can't file it, um, so you shave it. And this looks very much like the razor you can get at the drugstore, except if you look closely at this thing, let's see if we can get this close enough for you to see. Right there. You see it? So we've got this super thin razor located right here. They make other razors for the Skyver. Um, they're more of like a scooping motion with your wrist. Super dangerous. Great way to cut a whole bunch of skin off really fast. So I prefer the Skyver that cuts on the pull stroke, because you can see how quickly we're removing material. Now, this is important because if you're skiving later to make like a belt or a strap and you need to thin it, it's going to be the same process. Some of you will not need a skive at all, but if I don't show it to you wrong, how are you gonna know how to fix it, right? So, if you've stained it black, you can fix the little bits as you go, a little bit more skiving. And then we can talk about how we're going to do our template tracing. One thing when you're skiving though, you'll find there are some sections as you go that have a grain. So I'm having the most trouble here where this little bit of rag is showing. And so you'll have to rotate the leather. You're always cutting on the pull stroke. But you want to find that sweet spot where you get the least amount of resistance, but it shaves off nice, beautiful, long shavings. It doesn't fight you. There's not a lot of chatter. Your tool is not bouncing around. There's very little struggle. If you're still having trouble, you can always wet the leather, and that will help it sky better in some cases. Sometimes it just makes it worse. So... Um, Sort of use your best judgment to what seems appropriate for your needs. All right. Since we're using this wonderful piece of completely beat up old haggard leather, I'm not going to worry about it too much because on top of all that, I'm going to put a coat of paint on this and I might put a nice little soft liner. So we're going to call that good. Nice clean sky. We've got our pauldron design. We could trim it out, but we're going to do a bunch of detail work because uh, I have further plans for shaping this in another demo. So this is a sky pauldron, clean sides, and that's how you fix your iron oxide. And if you want to thin any regions, that's how you thin those regions.